So Louisiana, is there a difference between your part, that part, in terms of the state, or are you just happy to go home? I'm just happy to be in the state in general, you know what I'm saying? It's always a different feeling anywhere in Louisiana from anywhere else to me. So I'm just happy to be there. It is a little different from New Orleans for sure. I'm just happy to be back in the state in general. I love Louisiana. So. Got a 40 in, the, in your career? Say that again? Is it nice? I mean, go home in your career that way? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It was kind of unexpected because, you know, there was a lot of, we don't know we're going to play that yet. So it was, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, and especially, you know, my family's going to be there. Our family all over Louisiana, mainly New Orleans, but all over Louisiana. So it's going to be fun for me and just to get back in Louisiana in general. I haven't been there in a while. So it's a, it's a different, uh, different atmosphere for sure. Dana, Dana said, Caesar's been a disappointment. Yeah. And he feels like we owe you age fans a win. We're going to treat this bowl game like that. What do you think about that? Yes, sir. I, I totally agree with that. We, It's been a disappointment, you know what I'm saying? We had a lot of hype coming into the season, undefeated, winning the conference. And I, I totally agree with him. Me and him, you know, we see a lot of things the same. Obviously, that's my guy. So I agree wholeheartedly with what he said. We owe, we owe UH a win. And we, to me, we shouldn't have lost any game. So. I feel like we definitely owe this to the, you know, the community and just the fans and everyone who supports us. We deserve to go win this. How do you go about stuff for bowl, bowl stuff? You know, three, three and a half weeks between games. So what's that process like? It's really just a lot of workouts. You know, just a lot of indie work. Just getting back in the groove. You know, what I'm saying we're not really taxing our bodies or anything like that, but just kind of. Preparing your mind to play one more game, you know, because it's, it's a little ways away from the last game. So you just got to prepare to play one more game and still see the goal. I'm going to treat it like every other game in the normal season for me and just like any other opponent for me personally. I'm just going to go out there and just try to wreak havoc everywhere I can, <laughs> to be honest with you. Is it hard to stay sharp? It is, but for me, I, I'm not a bragging type of person, but it's easy for me to get back in the groove just because I love football and I love D-line. I love pass rush and the quarterback. So right when I get back on the field, it just kind of picks up for me naturally. You got a number. You mentioned family in there. You got a number of tickets. Did you have to ask for extras? Or? Boy, I'm going to have to ask for more because last week, senior night, I had like 25. So and that was from them coming from New Orleans here. So now that it's in Louisiana, you know, family in Ruston, family everywhere. It's probably going to be around 30, 35, 40. But. Hope you're not buying. No, I'm not. Think about it all <laughs> so one definitive answer. No, I'm no, not. I'm not. Thanks, buddy. Well, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah. Enjoy that trip. How are we doing? Good. How are you? Good. Sulfur Springs, right? Sulfur. Sulfur. Just sulfur. Just sulfur. Sulfur, Louisiana. Yeah. 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 I don't know where it got. That's Texas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. I'll see yeah. Texas. Okay. How far is that from Freeport? Uh, a little over three hours. So, but I mean, still coming home. Got family all over Louisiana, so it's gonna be good. Hell, I'll get to go. Elias told us he, whatever you guys are good. Yeah. yeah. Elias was telling us he's got about 35, 40 coming. You got oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's close to around there, but yeah, I have family spread out all over Louisiana, so I mean, it should be good. Having them all be there in the home territory, finishing up like a farewell tour, so that's good. Is it cool that the circle ends? Right there, the yeah. End? Five years and it ends here in Louisiana playing uh, Louisiana team, playing against guys I've played against throughout high school and elementary, so it should be fun, yeah. A lot of talk about how you guys kind of approach this thing. Mm -hmm. Bowl games boil down to who wants to be there, who's going to work exactly. to be there. How do you guys kind of approach that? Uh, it's just, I mean, with us as next man up and then just doing what we came in and doing every day. I mean, guys go down, it doesn't matter, it's next man up. So, I mean, just playing day to day, being ready for the next guy, no matter what the, just be ready, be grateful for the opportunity to play. Christian, when you sort of look at, you know, getting ready for this final game, when you look back at your UH career, what sort of stands out to you about I'm sorry, say that, say that again. Sort of what sort of stands out to you about your time here at UH um, as you get ready, you know, for your final? Uh, man, just being grateful. Just being grateful for the opportunity to be here. I never take any days for granted, any snap for granted. So just being grateful to be here and be putting this opportunity to do what I'm doing right now. What you say about this program? We have a bunch of guys opting out not to play. They're all playing. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's a testimony to our team and how we fight and, and, and what we stand for, what we play for and everything. is just it's just doing the right things. And I mean, if you if you can play, go out there and play. So. That's just that's how we've been doing it the whole season. That's how it's going to be. Dana recently said the season's been disappointing, and he feels like y'all owe UH fans a win. And that's how he's approaching this bowl game. What do you, your, your your teammates say they totally agree with that? What do you think about that? I agree with that, and and, and not just our fans, but ourselves. Because I mean, we've had a really hard season. Guys going down. 
things not losing games in the, in the final second. So I think we owe it to ourselves too, not just the fans and everything. So mm -hmm. just going out and getting this win for the team and, and for this 2022 team, it'll it'll mean something for us just to put a cap on it and get a ring. Christian, what's next for you? I mean, after the bowl game, mm -hmm. you just get into that mode of um, you know preparing for whether it's you know pro day or you know that kind of stuff. Yeah, just uh, I'm optimistic about it, but um, hopefully sign with an agent, start training, see where it goes from there. I'm not really. Hadn't really thought about it too much, knowing I have another game left, so just just going with the flow. Tank was saying that um, you know, for a lot of the receivers, I didn't, you know, this is the last go with, with yep. Clayton. Yeah. Uh, you've been on the receiving end of some some nice moments uh, to, to go out with your quarterback like that. What's, what's that mean? It's it's good, man, because because we I, it feels like we're me, him, and uh, maybe like three or four more guys are the only guys left in that 2018 class because we came in together, so. It's, it's going to be bittersweet uh, being able to catch a pass with him from the last time. So, yeah, he's a big, big part of my career and my success. How would you kind of explain his impact on this, this program? Oh, it's, I mean, it, it stands for itself, all the accolades, but minus the accolades, he's just a great guy. He's always fun to be around. He's, he's always done the right things, always been in the right place, and, and set the standard here at the University of Houston, as hopefully as our whole senior class did, which is build the the, uh, the character around here, so I, I think we, we all did a good job, but especially Clay, he was just a, the Iron Man of the unit. Dana was looking for <clears throat> eligibility under any rock or under the sofa for some of you guys. Uh, <laughs> did, yeah. uh, you know, when you look at yeah, it, yeah. when you look at it though, missing out on the Big 12, is that is that something that you regret, or is it being a part of the program that that eventually got in? Yeah, I think I think that that has a lot to do with it. Like we we set the, the pathway for them to get into it, but not just that, just just making the culture and everything, but I mean, I don't feel like we missed out. I mean, it's just that's happening. It's football. How about the tight end? Room? You've had some guys that you've been able to, to help the room this past year. Do you feel like yeah. you're leaving it in good hands? Oh yeah, definitely. We're leaving it in good hands, man. I mean, um, our tight end room. I, I, the, we have a lot of young guys, so I mean, I see them getting better every day, and that's not just on the football field. Becoming great men and everything too. So I feel like the guys that were before me did a great job with me, and I feel like it's my part to do the same thing with them. Tank, can you just take us through sort of your decision process, um, both to declare and also why it's important to play in this bowl game? Um, I feel like, first off, to play in a bowl game, I feel like I got to finish what I started with my team, you know, since I came here in 2020. I told them I'm going to ride with them, so I feel like I got to finish the job. But what came into me declaring is, you know, the situations like Toon leaving. And I feel like if Toon would have came back, I would have been more leaning towards coming back. but. Tune can't come back, you know, he a senior and he can't come back. So I feel like him leaving played a big big part of me leaving because, you know, the chemistry we have and then next year be my last year and I don't want to like try to risk it, you know what I'm saying? So that played, that was the biggest role. And then I had like my family, so I got to support my family and feed my family. So. Is there any consideration tank of uh, if Clayton's gone that you play somewhere else? Or was it going to just be nah. either here or the NFL? Yeah, um, I'm loyal to the grade, so it was either with Coach Hogan or I'm going. Yeah, it was never like another team on my mind. Uh, was it a, a tough call to make the decision that you made? Was it tough? Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, it was stressful. You know, that's a that's a big choice to make. That's a big decision. So it was it was stressful. Yes, it was tough. What does it say about this program that you don't have a bunch of guys opting out for the bowl game? They're all, they're all playing. Um, that's just the lo the loyalty we have for our team. The um the mindset we have for our team. You know, before we started this journey, we told each other like. From the beginning to the end, we're going to fight with y'all, so I got to, you know, keep that up. Um, Dana said the last time he met with the media that the season's been disappointing, and he feels like y'all owe your fans a win. Yeah. That's how you're going to treat this bowl game. How do you look at that? Yeah, same. That, and that's another reason why I can't um, stay to play the bowl game. I feel like we owe them, too, you know. Um, we came up with, I mean, we came in with so many high hopes to um, play this. The, through the season, we came in with so many high hopes to win, championship, and stuff like that. And you know we didn't succeed in doing that. We didn't. We lost a couple games more than we wanted to lose. We didn't want to lose any. So I feel like we just owed it to the fans to go out there and put on another show. Like, how do you feel about this move to the NFL? Like it's real. It's tangible. Like it's happening now. I see you kind of smile, man. Yeah. Now that it seems real, how do you kind of grasp all of that? The journey you've taken to get to this point, where you're obviously going to have every opportunity to make that happen. Um, I feel good. You know, I've been waiting on this my whole life. Um, like once I made the post, I called my mom, she cried and stuff like that. And it just feel like, like from what I, what I had to do to get here, you know, it was just surreal, like emotional.
Hey, what kind of feedback? Have you gotten any feedback? Uh, from, you know, just from, you know, they, they, sometimes the process is you go and you get a grade back. They, 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 you know, whether or not you're draftable or what they, you know, what they think, especially guys that have years left. Did you go through that process or have you been told any, anything in terms of feedback? Yeah, I got feedback in, until like what where, where Scout's talking about, yeah. like NFL Scouts. Yeah, I got some feedback from some agents and stuff like that, but to be honest with me, um, I feel like I can get through anything, so I never like, like of course going first round and stuff is great and a life changing experience, but I just want to get there. I know if I get there, I, I'll put it all on the table and show them what I got, so I don't care like about like what round they talking about, anything like that. I'm just ready to get there and showcase my time. So this isn't a deal where you could come back. You're, you're going to the NFL, that's it. Oh yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> what, have you, what have you thought about the way Marcus is blowing up? Oh, Marcus is going crazy. Um, he just caught a pick last night he did? and made some big time plays after that. So, um, you know, that just, and I went against him, like me and Marcus, like every day in practice, like coaching them, like me and him had to go against each other every time. Wherever I went, he followed me. So that got me right. And then it got him right also. So um, I'm happy for him. You know, he blessed right now and he's doing what he do. So it's, it's nothing like, Surprising because I already knew what he could do. Like everybody, I know y'all did too. Like everybody knew what he could do. He just showing it on the bigger stage. How crazy would it be next year if you go up against him? It'll be crazy. It'll be fun. It'll be crazy though. Take you told us in the past about some of the things you've gone through. Maybe people underestimating you. You know, JUCO. Like, do you feel like now this is just another one of those moments with the NFL? Things you're gonna have to prove, whether it's size, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's already that's already my mindset. Like I know I'm going in. I like you can see from like all the stuff that's been happening. Like I don't really too much get too high on awards and stuff, but like you know numbers is numbers and stuff like that. And I feel like I've been getting lowballed a little bit. So I already knew like I gotta go prove myself. No matter where I'm at, I've been doing this my whole life. I've been having to prove myself my whole life. So it's just another step or something. Mm -hmm. You did get all of uh, AP All American. Yes, I believe you were 13. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you first you last yeah. though. So yeah. I ain't really play too high on that though. Tank on what you put no, on the tape and stuff. Just do you feel like you've shown sort of you're comfortable Sorry. playing the slot, just outside, like whatever. Just you moved around a lot here at UH. Just on yeah. That next level. So um, I feel like I'm comfortable playing everywhere. You know, I I be seeing like some little tweets like, oh, he's too small to play outside, but I can play outside. I can play all over the field on offense from slot to outside, wherever. You, Coaches need me to play. I'm feel, I feel like I'm willing to play and ready to play. Take as you go into the bowl game. This is you and Clayton's last last game together. When you think about that I'm connection, you okay? No. <laughs> when you think of that connection uh, between you two and the yards you put up, the touchdown, you know, what, what goes through your mind? Um, we blessed, you know. First off, thank God for just allowing us to be able to do that. But um. You know, it's surreal, like I said, you know, we've been with each other for three years. The first year, you know, COVID, we didn't really get to work out with each other. But after that, we took it upon ourselves to, like, go in and train, like, one-on-one -on -one with each other every day. And we just built a relationship on the field and off the field. So, playing in the last game, and that's another reason, why I, like I said, that's another reason why I wanted to play is because I didn't want to leave Toon. Not saying, like, Matthew didn't couldn't, like, hold up on Sam and all them, but... I feel like I, I owe that to him too, like, let's go out with a bang, you know, because I knew he was going to play and I didn't just want to leave him out there without me, you know, so. He's going to be your last college quarterback. Yeah. Your next quarterback that throws you a pass will be in the NFL. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, you know, I just want to feel it one more time, feel the experience one more time.